السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today إن شاء الله we're going to solve IV past papers on topic four oscillations and waves. This document you have it already on. I share it with you on Google Drive. So we're going to start with the first question. The first question we have solid. The solid line in the graph shows the variation with distance x on the displacement y. So here we have a relationship between the displacement y and x distance traveling distance x at time t equals zero. The dotted line shows the wave. 0.2 millisecond later. So here, this is the wave, 2.0 millisecond later. And the period of the wave, the period of the wave is longer than 0.2 second milli, 2.2 millisecond. First, we need to calculate in meter per second the speed. OK, the speed for this wave. Now we know the speed is distance over time. So the distance this wave traveled is from here till here. So this is the distance here. I have one, two and a half. So 2.5 times the uh, value of each uh, square. Now here I have 0.2 and I have 10 square. From here till here I have 10 square. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2 divided by 10 each square. The length of each square is around 0.02. So 2.5 I have 2.5 times 0 0.02. So this distance will be 0 0.05 meters. So the distance from here to here, this distance D is 0 0.05. 0 0.05 meter divided by time is 0 0.2 millisecond. 0 0.2 millisecond. 0 0.2 milli, it means 10 to the power negative 3. And this will give us 250 meter per second. OK, now calculate in Hertz the frequency of this wave. We know the speed of the wave is lambda times F, wavelength times frequency. So if I need the frequency, it will be the velocity divided by lambda Velocity of the wave, we just calculated, is 250 meter per second divided by lambda. Lambda is distance between two points in phase, two troughs or two crests or two points that are in phase. So here, if I take the distance from here, this is crest and crest. OK, this will give us around. This is point to point four, so this is will be point three. Point three meter. So. Lambda will be point three. And this will give us 833 Hertz. We can round it to two significant figure 830. Hertz. OK. Next. The graph also shows the displacement of two particle P and Q in the medium at time equal zero. State and explain which particle has the larger magnitude of acceleration. So if we go here to the shape. This is P. And this is a Q. So here we have the wave. 
P is here and Q is here, and this is a relationship between displacement and the distance traveled. Now we know acceleration is directly proportional with negative the displacement. And we know if the velocity is zero, the acceleration will be maximum. So I can find the velocity by looking at the slope. This point here I have, it's moving up. The point is moving up, so the velocity here is maximum. And here I have a horizontal slope, so the velocity here is zero. The velocity is zero, it means acceleration is maximum. Here, velocity is maximum, that means acceleration. Acceleration is minimum or zero. So this one, here I have a minimum uh, where the value has larger acceleration and here minimum acceleration. So here, this is the maximum and down is the minimum. At P is minimum and Q will be, uh, will be the maximum. D now. D here we have a standing wave. One end of a string is attached to an oscillator and the other is fixed to a wall. When the frequency of the oscillator, so this is the frequency, I'm going to call this one F1, 360 hertz, the standing wave on the string is shown. Actually, this is F3 because here I have three anti nodes, one, two, three. OK, the length here is 2.1. If this is 2.1, the length between two nodes, here I have this is node and this is node, the minimum displacement will be 2.1 divided by 3. So this one is 2.1 divided by 3, it's around 0.7 meter. Now point 01. Point X is not shown on the string, is at distance 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters means 0.1 meter. State the number of all points on the string that have the same amplitude and phase. So point one, it will be it's around here. This is 0.7, so this is 0.1. And here, and here, so I will have how many points? I will have around three points. Three, three points. OK, next here we have the frequency of an oscillator. Is reduced to 120 Hertz. So here I have a three anti node this you say this will be I have here three harmonics the number of harmonic is three. So this will be F three and this one now is reduced to 120 Hertz. How many? Uh, how many harmonics? How many anti nodes will I have? So I know. That the formula for uh, standing wave, the frequency of standing wave uh, fixed at two, uh, uh, two points. OK, here length will be this is half lambda because if you continue this one, it will be full lambda. So this is half lambda. Do cross multiplication lambda will be 2L. So the general formula is 2L over N. If I need the frequency, the frequency is velocity over lambda. So velocity over 2L and here. So from this formula, frequency is directly proportional with the number of harmonics. OK, so I can create a formula. I can write 2 over F1 will equal N2 over N1. So the second frequency is 120. The original frequency was 360 equals into I don't know. I don't know how many how many anti waves or how many um, harmonics will I have divided by 
360 here I have antinos, so three harmonics, so it will be three. If I do cross multiplication, 120 times three is 360 divided by 360, so into will be one. So I will have one anti nodes, one harmonic. So the wave will be will look like this. Okay, one anti node. That's it. Next video, inshallah, we'll continue with the rest of the questions.